I've been having some trouble with my little Fluke 12 uh, multimeter for the last uh, little while. That's why I've used, some, used the other one a few times, but I figure I'm going to uh, figure out why this one's not working. It's just one of the buttons isn't working. Let's take it apart and see why it's not working and can I get it going. Check this one out. I was going to do a tape deck video today, but when I plug the tape deck in, it has not faulted. So uh, I'm going to do a video on my Fluke 12 multimeter, which has a problem. What problem, you ask? Well, that button works. That button works. That button works. But this one doesn't work. Oh, well, that should make a liar out of me. Yeah, that, that button doesn't work. Yeah. The ACDC... <clears throat> select button is not working and if I put it into diode test I can't switch see it's in diode test mode now but I can't switch everything else works I can put it into capacitor test but I can't uh, I can't change between AC and DC so something's wrong so we'll take it apart and see what's wrong with the switch. So I have to pop the board out again, which is pretty common on these units. It's not like it hasn't failed before. In fact, this one's failed a few times over the last uh, nice spark gap here. This one's failed a couple times over the past several years. It's had the problem with the um, It's had the problem with the, the, the rubberized contact here. And I have a feeling it's probably the same thing because you see this one here is for the display, but this one here is for the the buttons. The buttons that uh, select the mode. So it's probably this little pad here that's acting up on this one. Or the little carbon contacts down in here. So we're going to wipe these little contacts off I don't want to put any cleaner or anything in there because I don't want to put anything on that might attack this conductive strip here. So let's just clean that contact out here if I can. Now does this switch come apart? This might even come apart. Think if I lift this out and get at that even better. Of course, this thing may never work again, but okay. So there's the display. I don't want to take the display apart. This is what I'm thinking right here. This this pad here. These are the switches. I'm thinking maybe right in here. This. This contact here may be just a bit uh, dirty, so we'll just clean that up. And now I'll put the display back in. We'll clean up the rubber strip here.
and wipe the contacts off on here again as well. Still not wanting to change. Oh, now none of the buttons are working. What did I do? I've made it worse. I guess I have to take it apart yet again. I've got this in upside down because um, one side of it is obviously pushing up against the the little bumps on the the, the uh, circuit board here, so it may have deformed the plastic. We'll try just turning it over and see whether they work. This one's still not working. Hmm. My trusty old fluke meter going to be limited to testing DC voltage? Say it isn't so. Looks like it's the two outside terminals that that uh, when I press the carbon pad here they should connect. I'm just going to grab my other meter and we'll, we'll test the continuity of this strip when I press down the button here with the other meter. Okay, let's, um, I guess you can see the meter or not, but we'll just put the probes on the, the pins here and I'll press down the button and point. Yeah, so the switch is working. So it's just uh, not measuring, it's not making a connection through to the uh, board. It's got to be this... Um, this conductor, this pad, that transfers the 
connection through from one to the other. It's just not making a connection here, I guess, on the board. We'll try it again. So the next step will be just to add a little more tin to these contacts here just to give them a little bit more um, a little bit more depth just to increase the tension a bit because obviously one of them is not making a good connection for that select button. So we'll just warm up the iron and we'll uh, just add a bit more tin to these pads ever so slightly and then of course clean off any rosin that may uh, end up on the board. We'll try that. Yes, got it. And into this mode. And back to that one. Capacitor. And ohms. There we go. Whew, got it. Just had to. Uh, Put a little more solder on there just to make it a little bit higher up just to make a connection onto that uh, i mean ideally it would change the rubber uh, the rubber um, conductive strips but i don't have any and i don't know where to get them and if i can keep this thing running a little while longer we'll keep it running a little while longer because i've had this meter for oh i don't know at least probably probably close to 30 years you know i bought this meter at one of the first ham flea markets I went to and this has got to be uh, 90 maybe 91 92 somewhere in there it was it was early 90s um, and I paid ten dollars for it and it's been just a fantastic little meter over the years other than the fact that I've had to fix it a few times but uh, that's my favorite meter so my favorite meter is back in service so if you have a problem with the buttons on here it's going to be that little short that could be that little short conductive strip but sometimes you just have to uh, put a little more solder on there just to raise it up just a little bit so that it'll make a connection thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one real soon bye